CVFM. Bernie Does the Borough, proudly sponsored by Teesside's Healthy Living Pharmacies. There's always a pharmacy open near you seven days a week. Ask your local pharmacist for free and confidential advice on smoking, alcohol, weight and sexual health issues. You don't even need an appointment. Visit TeessidePharmacy.net to find out more. Get your opinions on the air and have your say on the borough game. Bernie Does the Borough on CVFM. It's 5pm and the games are finished. The scores are set and now it's time to hear from the North East's football mouthpiece. It's time for the alternative radio phone-in. 90 minutes of spleen venting, honest opinion calls. Get involved with the biased banter by calling 01642 688 104. It's time for Bernie Does the Borough on CVFM. Welcome to the Borough here on CBFM 104.5. If you want to get involved, 01642 68104. If you've just walked in the door and you're thinking, what was the score today? Nottingham Forest 2, Middlesbrough 1. Middlesbrough did take the lead via Grant Ledbetter. It was a sort of a short corner, he's turned. It was a sort of a cross shot. It seems to have been over the keeper. I don't know if the wind's caught it. And it's clipped the back post and ended up in the back of the, the Forest net. But they kept chipping away, to be fair. And Gardner... He, uh, he had time to lift his head, get it out of his feet, and he's rifled one by uh, Dimmy. Dimmy. Dimmy didn't have a hope in hell's chance of scoring it. And then Blackstock in the second half, he's got the ball, he's received it, he's been allowed to turn, and again it's been a terrific strike, and it's nestled uh, by Dimmy. Uh, when the whistle went, Forrest had won out 2 1 victors. Majorly disappointing from our point of view. Um, loads of possession. Good in the eye. First half we created a few chances. Second half, I can't recall one shot that their keeper had to save. Uh, so a lot of possession, flatter to deceive. In the last third, again, questions are being asked, are we good enough to score goals? I mean, I think uh, the, the stat, we've only scored a few goals in the last eight games away from home. I think it's four or five. You know, that's not a good start. Our away form this season's been impeccable in the main, but the last five games... Uh, hasn't been good, we are getting beat now and at home, you know, we're fairly frail as well and the big games are starting today, three points down to Swanee, next week, Ipswich Town, then we've got Derby County, then Bournemouth. For me, the next four games, before today's game, I was looking at the next four games as a telltale as to where we're going to finish. Um, Karanka stayed with the same team, I was happy with that. I mean, the team that beat Millwall midweek 3-0, uh, I thought, is he going to change it again? Because... Since he's come in 15 months ago, Karanka, we keep saying it's boring and repetitive, but he does chop and change, uh, making four, five, six changes. Today, he kept the same team, uh, but it was the final third we let ourselves down. Not good enough, not prolific enough. And I still keep, I keep crying out, have we got a John in the spot, a fox in the box, somebody you can hang your hat on that's going to guarantee a goal? Personally, I don't think we have. I, I know the manager says a month ago um, were well, the best strikers in the league. Well, the best strikers in the league, in my opinion, is the next striker, is the guy that's got, guys that's got the most goals. And our three strikers aren't amongst those guys. Yeah? If we're going to get promotion, it's going to be goals for. Not, not the goals we're keeping out or, you know, the clean sheets. It's who's going to score the vital goals. I cast my mind back. We played Wolverhampton Wanderers last game of the season. Pressure red hot. I remember Paul Wilkinson scoring um, the, the, all, the all important goal, the winner. I think John Gittins get the first. But they have vital games, but the pressure's really on. Are we good enough to take the pressure and stand the heat? I personally think we are still good enough and, and we can take the pressure. But there is a few cracks shown at the minute. Um, but in the last third, it is a problem. You know, possession, you don't, get, you don't win games with possession. We might have had 65% possession today. They just sat back, says, on you come, invited us to go and attack them, and we couldn't unlock their defence. Now, we've, we're good at that defensively, doing that to opposing teams, but now teams are going to do it to us in the remaining games, and are we good enough to unlock them? Uh, 01642 68104, give us a phone, give us a tinkle, and let's discuss Borough and the game today. Let's go to Brian. Hi, Brian. 
Yes, okay, Brian. Hello, Brian. Come on, I thought you dozed off there, Brian. Come on, then. What about today? Well, ten games left, ten cup finals. We're still there. Every chance up there was. But disappointing today. Got in front and still didn't even get a point. Uh, doesn't it tell you something when you start with three of the strikers mm -hmm. and they've started a lot this recently in this season yeah. with three strikers mm -hmm. and we can't score got enough goals. We finish up with four strikers on the pitch and we've, that's happened quite a lot mm -hmm. as well. We yeah. still can't score a goal. I, I, we've been saying, me and you, Bernie, yeah. for a long time, get reach back into the team. Mm -hmm. to get some crosses. balance there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still a Reach it's, fan. I still, we've seen, I still we've think we've we, we seen the home game against Derby in the season. Mm -hmm. Reach was start in that game. Yeah, great the first goal. Let's get a bit of balance back into the team, Bernie. But but it's see, a logic. But talking about balance, when the ball comes in the box, Leeds United with about 400 chances, and we still did. We could beat one nil. Yo, we are still creating chances irrespective of who's out wide. And with you, I would rather have Reach out there than a Doma switching to the other side than Bamford, who's a centre forward going the right. I would still I would still rather have Reach in there. But the balls are coming into the box, but we're still not ruthless enough. And you know the other thing I notice about our strikers, and if they were here I would say to the faces, they don't moan. They don't get the ball. There's an acceptance, oh we never get the ball there, or that that was a okay ball. Start pointing the finger, get the ball, demand the ball. I don't think we're ruthless enough as strikers. I think we're nice guys. You need to be nasty out in the pitch to your teammates. You're the best of pals after the game, but you need to moan and groan and demand the ball. I don't see Bamford, Kiki, Vossen, Tomlin. I don't see any of them moaning. Do you? Well, you don't. Because they don't. They don't moan. The way for us to to get automatic promotion, yeah, or at least stay in the top six, yeah, is do logical things. I go back to it all the time, Benny. How is it logical to play a key key as your spearhead striker? That is, that is not being logical. But, but you had four on the pitch at the end of the day. Yeah, the, 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 the one guy. He, and, he and scored I, at Millwall, but Scott Millwall, we, we, we were expected to win that game, weren't we? Brian, the one guy, the, the one guy, game, the one guy I've been, been saying, poor. Brian, the one guy I've been saying for weeks, the one guy I would play up front. As Bamford say, you're playing the remaining 10 games now, big man. I'm not playing you out wide. You're up the middle. Get me goals. And then it's up to him, to Karanka, to pick who's going to play alongside him or behind him. But Bamford would be the number one striker up top, nearest to go. Yeah, well, the, the, the choice is, isn't it, is uh, do you play, for me, yeah. logical things, I'll go back to, is play either Bamford and Vossen up front, Mm -hmm. With your two wingers, yeah, Rest I agree. Yourself, I agree. Get Reach on the left, right? get home on the right. Yeah. Oh, do you play Tomlin behind one of them? Maybe away from home. That I don't know, but th that is the logical way to go for me now. You know, this th this poor, but even in the wins performance hasn't been there has it for about eight games. No, I mean, uh, the last three you know, Saturdays we've been beat away from starting to dip. We were very good at the start of the season, but it has evaporated recently and, and that's a concern it must be a concern for Karanka for us the fans and for the players we are, at, the, at the moment we are, we are relying on other teams uh, at well, the moment at the minute Brian the way, for, the for, way the, you're playing. for those that's listening and thinking what about the table Bournemouth in 66 Derby 66 Watford 66 Middlesbrough are 66 and then you've got Norwich who are the dark horses they're really crept up they're 65 Brentford 62 and then outside is Ipswich who we play next in 61. So, you know, I keep hearing, you know, people that say no wrong, saying, oh, we're still up there, we're still first, although there's four A's on the... But, hey, all the other teams have caught up now and, and we've got three massive games and that will really separate the week for the chaff starting next week against Ipswich. We need Steel, Brian, back, and Bernie. Bottle. Sorry? We conceded two goals today. Yeah. We only had you know, we conceded two today. Mm -hmm. You've been saying we, we haven't looked. We've looked a bit shaky in defence. Yeah, we have. We've been frail. Yeah. Recent matches. Mm -hmm. Now, is it time? Do you know how far Yala, Yala is off being fit? Has, has anything mentioned about Yala? Yala, I don't know much about his injury, uh, Brian. To be honest, I don't know. Yeah. What? But we're missing him. But well, he time. won't score a goal, will he? 
I mean, he's on the bench today. I, I, I'm shouting for Woodgate if, if he's fit. Mm-hmm. It's, he's experienced, isn't he? Yeah. You're looking for logical things to do. Gibson, yes, he's had a good season, played mm-hmm. most of the time. But he's, he's looked a bit iffy lately, Bernie. You've got, yeah, he you've has. got to admit that. He has, yeah. And, you know, is it time to bring Woodgate in and hopefully Yala gets fit? And and then we we, we know that the, the rest of the, the, the defence... It's going to be, uh, as we say, well, Ledbetter. Fredericks obviously injured today. I mean, I don't know if it's his hamstring. He's on nine bookings, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Ledbetter's obviously. He's on nine bookings, yeah. Ledbetter. Yeah, one more book and he misses a couple of games. It'll be too much fun if he gets another booking. And that'd be a massive blow. It was a silly booking today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah. It was just and a back chat and just nonsense. Nonsense. But but it's the last it's third for me, one. Brian. If we're going to get promotion, in my humble opinion, it's going to be in the last third, the opposing last third. We need to start finishing teams off. You know, everybody's an edge. Of everybody's course, nervous, and and we're all apprehensive because we don't know where the next goal's coming from. We're getting chances. We're fluffing them. We're we, missing we, them. We keep relying. We keep relying on the defence keeping a clean sheet at the moment, don't we? Mm-hmm. That's all. That's what we are mainly rely, r- yeah. relying on. And, and and what is so he must be so dumbfounded by it, Karanka, that he started with three strikers today. Yeah. Finished up with four for half an hour. Yeah. So you can't fault him for and that. They, they couldn't score a little bit. Got the goal. They couldn't score a goal, could they? No. No. For me, and I know you're a bit of a fan of Keek here, but I would rest him, Bernie. At the no, moment. look, look. If you say he to me, be a red striker. If you say to me, who's on, uh, is any of the four strikers out and out prolific? I'd say no, because their stats. The stats aren't good enough. You know, I played with Middlesbrough when we were had to win the last game, Brian, to stay in the division. I had a lot more goals than these guys have got at the top of the league. I was fighting against relegation. Third bottom, you remember the last game yeah. we had to beat Newcastle? Well, I still, I still went out with a mentality, I'm going to score goals, we ain't going to win the league, we might get relegated, but I'm going to score as many as I can. And there's, there's more pressure, or just as much pressure, fighting relegation as there is trying to get in the top flight. So I'm not buying into it. Everybody's got different makeup. This blinking mic. Excuse me, Brian. You crack on. Go on. If I can hear you. The, the thing was, the, the, the on. thing is that uh, most of the season, being rock solid, yeah. didn't show a lot of nerves most of the season. Yeah. And now it's all went to peace suddenly. Even the performance not there. So I would go yeah. back. We start the season uh, with with a uh, friend on the left side, Reach. The other side, a full-back, a dormer, and it was working a treat. Mm-hmm. And I think the only other thing, with it, as I say, go back to it, I would leave Kiki out. It would be go with Rossinor, Bamford, or Kiki rather than one of them. And I think that is logical. You know, it was doing great early in the season. There's no performance yeah, the, 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 thing, the, thing, the thing now, Brian, sorry to cut across and you, but the thing now is, early on in the season, teams have cottoned on to how we play now. What we're about, how we set our team up. Teams know what we make up now. They didn't know that early doors. Yeah, but they all got, know it y- now. Yes, but it's, yes, but Bernie, you've got to let teams worry about you. I, I agree with that as well. We went to yes, Sheffield Wednesday. We know they play as well. We went to Sheffield Wednesday. Sh- changed with formation, know. changed clientele, and we're playing a middle of the road championship side, and we get beat. I, I agree with you. We, we've got a good side. I mean, I mean. I- I mean, Chelsea don't change the play every week. They're the, the, the same all the time. No. Teams can't still beat them. It's today. Uh, all the top teams. They don't change the way they play much. It's today, they, Brian. Brian. Other teams worry about them. Brian, is today, are we saying that Karanka's going to play the same team with the remaining games? I mean, today, same team I as Melbourne. I don't think he can keep playing. He might be his mate, Kike, Karanka's mate. But he can't, he can't keep playing him no more. He won't be his mate. He's not in because he's his mate. To... He's not in because he's well, his mate, Brian. He must, he, think he's, he must think he's the best at the... How does he keep playing him then? Well, obviously is he fancies it, is him. He, all, all right then. Is he, is he saying to the four strikers, I'll, I'll all give you the big part because I want to keep you all happy. Well, if he's saying that's that... that no, no I, don't, I don't think he'll be saying that either. I've never heard but the manager... What, that is what's happening, Bernie, by the looks of it. Brian, I've and never heard the manager, and I've been in dressing rooms with many a manager, I've never heard anybody saying, I'll give you all a game to keep you all happy. Managers, the only thing that'll keep a well, manager happy, like, the only thing that'll keep Karanka happy is getting promotion. Anything else is failure. We need to get promotion. This for is me, the best season. For me, 
I'm going even further. I think Leach has been the whipping boy for it. What, uh, well, he, obviously he's in it because it, cause it, Bamford's going the right and Adoma's switching over. That's, that's my opinion. And I think he should get back to reaching the team. Well, I'm in agreement with you. Think, uh, reaching Adoma on the flanks. Bamford up top and somebody, whoever's behind him, if it's Tomlin or Keaton, whoever, and, and in your midfield you've got Clayton and Ledbetter, um, and then your defence, obviously Freddie. So, who are we going to play right back now, Brian? We're is going it, to play right back. Is it going to be in Suey, or uh, well, who, who are you going to put we, there? We don't, we don't have the injury, do we? No, I think... The, Frederick started today, didn't he? Yeah, he started today, he got injured. I don't know if it was his hamstring, but obviously, hopefully he's back sooner than later. But for me, he's one of the better players. Think, and so he's not good enough there, like. He's not as good as Fredericks. So good there, no, like. I think Fredericks is the best right back we've got. Just like George Friends, the best yeah. left back we've got. So, and obviously, if a Yaya came back, back to Martin, couldn't he? Mm. He could go, he could go back to the midfielder there. <laughs> oh, Remember, me. I called Cranko for it, <laughs> didn't I? Uh, so, so Brian, you, 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 are, you, are you concerned now? Or are you are you still as confident we're going to get this automatic promotion or? What's your feelings tonight? Well, well, I think he's doing the logical things. He's done great crank. And he, you know, of course he has. We've got our best shot than the other ten matches, but I just think he's doing the logical things at the moment. I think he's trying to keep players happy at the club. That's all got to stop now. He's got to get 11 players and the subs right <laughs> this, for these last ten games. For me, go back to reaching the team, adore me, and, and get back to what we were doing. When, when you're playing four strikers for me, Bernie, yeah. you finish with four strikers, mm -hmm. you were leaving yourself wide open, I think. If yeah, but it, it, is, that, is that not a sign uh, for Karang? Look at Karang's point of view then. Well, no scoring goals, he ends up with four strikers. Is that not a wee sign of desperation? We're trying to get them all on now to try and get is that elusive goal. You know, he used to take strikers on and off. Well, I think now we're keeping them all on because he, he's desperate like we are. We're looking, thinking, give us a goal. He's the manager. Well, how do I change it? Get them all on, try and get Nick a goal. But it's not happening. Three against Millwall, I mean, great, but Millwall... Yeah, we'll we'll go back it. to a couple of games ago when Karanka come out and he said, he said, it's my fault, I got it wrong. Yeah, and, and that takes it's a big, a big West, man to do that. There's not a lot of managers would do that. And, and, and honestly, I thought that he's going to go back to the two wingers Yeah. and he just hasn't done it. I think he's still doing the wrong things for me no but he is playing with he, he, he is the team. Brian you're saying he's not playing with wingers he's playing Bamford on the right a domer on the left so he's playing with width but not a natural winger in Bamford because he's a centre forward betrayed yeah but he is still playing with width yeah and then the thing is a domer it's spoiling a domer's game because he's switching out the side all the time yeah I agree I wouldn't be happy if I was a domer okay. switching wings I wouldn't like that you know and for me, it'll be interesting to see what team he picks against Dipswich. We've yeah, got to win that good. game now, Bernie. I uh, agree, we'll I send agree. send a message out to the rest of them, don't we? We'll be, we'll be top of the league one. Yeah, we had an early kick-off, so we would go top of the league in mentally. 15, isn't it? Yeah. But, but looking at the team, and, uh, we, we, send a Brian, really, really now, we need to be mentally strong and, and be up for this this fight. I mean, second half, we were a wee bit laboured and um, there was no real zip-off Zip, you know, somebody's needed a rock up with backsides. Yeah. You know, there wasn't that explosion yeah. you expect when, when let, you're playing let, for a. Let's hope the same happens at other years against Middlesbrough. Mm -hmm. When they play a good team, the shock here, the yeah. producer performance. Yeah. That is what is needed now, isn't it, in these three games? That is that, Brian. Brian, go and lie down the darton room. Thanks for your call and contribution, as always. Here for you Cheers, next Saturday. Cheers, Brian. If you want to get involved there, your views, if you, if you want to watch us on YouTube, I don't know why you would. The camera's in here. Uh, you can come and look at the studio, or whatever. Oh one six four two six double eight one zero four. CVFM. Bernie does the borough. Proudly sponsored by Teesside's Healthy Living Pharmacies. There's always a pharmacy open near you seven days a week. Ask your local pharmacist for free and confidential advice on smoking, alcohol, weight and sexual health issues. You don't even need an appointment. Visit TeessidePharmacy.net to find out more. Get your opinions on the air and have your say on the borough game. Bernie does the borough on CVFM. 
If you want to get involved, 01642 678104, give us a phone, discuss today's game. Unfortunately, Middlesbrough lost 2 1 against Nottingham Forest. Uh, looking at the games today, if you don't know the results, Blackpool 0, Sheffield Wednesday 1. Uh, Cardiff 1, Charlton 2, Derby County 2-2 two, two against Birmingham. I think they must have scored late on in the game because I'd put Derby on for a, a home victory, but it was 2-2. Two, two. Huddersfield 0, Rotherham 2. Ipswich 1-1, one, one. Big Mick McCarthy will be disappointed. Only a point against Brentford at home. Uh, Millwall 1, Norwich. They're the Dark Horses 4. I mean, they're banging in the goals. Uh, Nottingham Forest 2, Middlesbrough 1. We know about Wigan Nil, Leeds United 1 and Wolves 2-2 two, two against Watford. And obviously last night, uh, Bournemouth scored 5 against Fulham. 5. Some goal difference here. And obviously the league table, Bournemouth in 66, Hazard, Derby, Watford, Middlesbrough all in 66. Norwich 65, Brentford 62. And then there's Ipswich 61, more next opponents and then so on. So very tight up there. I mean, one slip next week with any of them and they can end up 5th or 6th in the division 01642-688-104 give us a phone and um, we're going to go to Frank good evening Francis Frank are you there? evening Bernie come on in Frank you've heard you've read or whatever tell us about what your thoughts are yeah well I, I'm not going to come on tonight Bernie and uh, have a go at them go on, I don't think it's the time to do that now there's a lot of uh, very pained people about now, after this result, you know, mm. I'm sure the players are upset and I'm sure the uh, many of the supporters are. Yeah. You've just got to hope, Bernie, now, they can get themselves back on track. They've got to do it. There's 10 games to go. It's not lost, really. Yeah, There's 10 down. games to go. Mm -hmm. 10 very important games. And they've got to do it now. If they're as good as what people have been saying they are over the season, if they're uh, the best team in the championship, like so many of the supporters have been saying, mm -hmm. this is the time to prove that they're the best team in the championship. Right. You know, you're not going to get the best team award if you don't get into the playoffs and you don't go up automatically. Mm -hmm. you've, got to, you've got to do that and you've got to get promotion. That's the end product of all the preparation throughout this season. But for me, it's up to Karanka now and, and that team to, to get their heads down, get sorted out and go onto that pitch with a bit of a spark in them. They seem, they seem to be uh, suffering, Bernie, this I think it's like uh, the nerves is kicking in. I think with a lot of the teams, look, listen to them results that like you said, there's a few of the teams start to struggle a little bit, of course apart from maybe Norwich. Yeah, Norwich is the ones that's zooming through. The rest are having hiccups left, right and centre. And, and obviously we're one of them, Frank. Um, but today I just thought they did to us what we do to opposing teams. They just clogged it up, boxed it up, frustrated us, let us have the ball... And, and, and fell back like a five and a five and says, come on, let's see you scoring a goal, let's see you breaking us down. And we couldn't do it. And that's my fear, because yeah. remaining games, teams will do that. Teams will say, if they get a goal, they'll say, do you know what, we'll box up, let's see how good they are at breaking us down. And and today, we alarm bells are ringing, I was thinking, you know, if teams come and do this, how do we unlock that? How do we unlock it? Are we good enough to unlock it? Have yeah. we got the nerve? Yeah. You know, nerve bottle, nerves well, of steel, you need it in this position, uh, Brian. As I say, I've been there, I've been in playoff finals, I've been in last games, you have to want to go right, up and stay right. up, and I've experienced it and been in dressing rooms, and, and every, every individual is different, Brian. Bernie, there, 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 there was a very Brian good point. Frank. There was a very good point made on the other side tonight by one of the callers. The dark side. And he says that all these are relatively young, young lads. Come on, I played with all the young lads. Experience of promotion. I played with a lot of young lads. You know what I mean? And the, you know, and the, the, it's all new to them. Hey, but, but, hey, but when, Frank. When Middlesbrough got promotion. Frank, I played with When I first Hello? came. Yeah, you there? Can you hear me? Are you there, Frank? Yeah. Yeah. When I first came to Middlesbrough. Yeah, we went, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I went third, second, first. Good. The team did, yeah? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. We had pairs that was experienced. Then there was Cooper, Parkinson, Pallister, Mowbray, who weren't vastly experienced. And Ripley on one side. And, you know, we, Archie Stevens was experienced in that mm -hmm. first season. But thereafter, we still had a lot of youthful lads. Young, young. Sometimes mm -hmm. the youth are fearless. The experienced lads, sometimes they can go against you. They know what's to come. And, you know, and yeah. They, yeah. That's the value to that. So, so. You know, this thing about lack of experience, well, possibly, but that's not the be-all and end-all. 
Uh, as I say, I've been in dressing rooms with no, experienced no, players it, no. that have achieved it. You know, I mean, are, are, people, are people trying too hard to find answers to it then, which is putting the pressure on? Just look at this as a blip, unfortunate blip that's come along at the wrong part of the, the, the season. You know, or is it the case of now that it's at the time of the season where you've, you've got to get your act together, you can't afford to be not firing on all cylinders? And Maybe this is something that's been happening over the season, mm -hmm. but it's been overlooked. Maybe at the part of the season when Middlesbrough have been gathering the points, it was the easy time to gather the points. Like you said, there's, there's, te there's teams now sussing out the way the Borough play. And maybe at the early part of the season, that wasn't the case. Now teams are coming here or, or getting Middlesbrough at their own ground and the they know what Middlesbrough, they know what Karanka's going to do. Well, he is a bit one-dimensional, Karanka, isn't he? Yeah, but the, 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 you know, the, 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 rigidly to his to his system. Frank, the th the thing today is again, and I'm looking at it again. I'm thinking we can't really change it because the strikers that we've got are a bit like myself. They're not that tall. They're not aggressive. You know, they won't put themselves about. Yeah, they're all, they're all physically running about, but actually competing in the air. We've not got one of them. We can't really change our yeah. style. You know, I was like that. I had to play against uh, alongside Ian Baird, big, tough. You know, pretty sell about. Walker was a tall lad who could win it in the air. Really like to rough people up. Yeah, really. yeah, yeah. So I played alongside that, but I'm looking at the players we've got now, and none of them can do that. They're all good lads and nice footballers. No, none of them have that type of character. No, and, and we can't switch it. We can't see. I think you were saying, Bernie. What? Go on. I think you were saying, Bernie, the guy you signed for uh, Derby County. Darren Bent. You, you meant, is it Bent to call him? Darren Bent. Yeah, I mean, you were right what you said. Maybe somebody like that would have been good to have on the bench and bring him on, you know, to shake things up a little bit. Well, I, I, is, is it still possible to bring, bring a player in now? No, no, no. I don't think you can bring it in now. Hello? But, yeah, fr Frank, I don't think is now... It's closed now, the window. Yeah, the window's gone in. It was January. But the guy that I looked who would have changed their yeah. style... It probably wouldn't be the fans' favourite at his age. Emil Heskey, Bolton. I looked at him. He won everything in there. Every ball he, he got in his chest. He yeah. linked players up. He flipped well, them on. I mentioned him to you a few weeks ago. Would it have been a good idea you bringing somebody in like that? I know he's, he's getting on a bit and he's a bit of an old uh, you know, player now, but he still has a, a lot of experience to, to bring to the dressing room, hasn't he? He has. You know, he would have been good for that something. one reason, I suppose. Just calming things down a bit. Yeah, he's experienced. He's got something different. As I say, our strike force is is all fairly small and no big competitive centre forwards, ugly centre forwards that put ourselves about. There's none of them that. And and that's where we kinda really change it. You know, if if the footballing style isn't no. working, you say to your 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 width or your central midfielders, just put it in the mixer, in the box, and, and try and ruffle the feathers of the opposition. We can't do that. You're right what you said, them balls are coming into the box, I mean, there was all them chances against Leeds, was it 27? Oh, I, I, I lost got, count. I mean, it's unbelievable, you yeah, know, that they're there, yeah. but it's just that there's nobody there to finish it off, is there? That's the problem. No, and as I say, over the... But then again, that's always the problem, it's finding strikers. Yeah, I mean, strikers are hard to come by, they cost a lot of money, uh, Frank, but... Uh, a lot of money, that's right. Again, the strikers have been in and out this season. They've got a few goals. Bamford's were, were, were top striker at the minute, as in goals. But we're looking for a few more. And, and if we're going to get into the promised land, it's not going to be clean sheets it's going to do. It's going to be goals. We need to score goals and release a bit of that pressure. But it, it seems as though everybody's thinking about that now. I mean, I was banging on about no, it what? ages ago. I was saying, Frank, they're not I, scoring goals. I've always thought you know, about that I mean, as well. People can dismiss that. I think as a team of scored I mean, you fifty odd goals. You know, goals win matches, Bernie. There's no, there's no ifs and buts about it. You know, goals win matches, and when you're struggling to put goals in the back of the net against some pretty mediocre opposition, that's a flashing light warning for me. But Frank, you know, when you meet these poor teams, you put them to bed. Three, four goals make it easy. You play nice football, but when when you're struggling to beat some of them teams and you're not putting the ball in the back of the net. Mm -hmm. To me, I think there's something wrong there, you know. It just doesn't add up. Well, the, 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 the minute you're getting so many people coming on and saying, oh, they're brilliant, you know, they're the, 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 the mm. best team in the championship. You think, well, maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe they're seeing something I don't see. Uh, but uh, I've never been over-impressed sometimes this season with some of the games. At the minute, it's and a it, pressure cooker, You, you get the reputation of being a mourner. 
Didn't Frank, I have a good word to say about Frank, them? Uh, but I, I mean, I like to think I'm a realist. I like to think Frank. I'm pragmatic. And it, it's certain things I look at and hear, and I think, well, that, that's not good enough. I want to see them tearing teams apart. I want to see them... You know, okay, I'll accept clawing out a, a, a game mm -hmm. against good opposition away from yeah. home. Like if they'd gone to Arsenal and they'd got a they'd got they'd got a one nil win there, that would have been absolutely magnificent. Mm -hmm. But I mean, they're going away to some of these grounds now, and they're, they're struggling, and there's something not right. Maybe they've just got battle fatigue, Bernie. Maybe it's all just getting a little bit too much for them. They've they've put that much into the games before now. That now they've got nothing left in the engine room. I, I just think, Frank, at the minute it's a pressure cooker, not just for Middlesbrough, for all the teams that's up there clamouring for the top all two. The teams, the, they're all right. having funny results. The, the, the only way to release the pressure, in my opinion, is to score goals. Because if you score goals, you win games, you get points, score goals, and it releases matches, the yeah. pressure. Keeping clean sheets doesn't release the pressure. Scoring goals release it. Get points on the board. People start believing in you. And at the minute, that the goals are hard to come by. And that's a worry. Well, they start to believe in themselves as well, won't they? Of course they will. I don't know, I don't know how Karanga handles all this, Bernie, because it's all new to him, isn't it? Yeah, he's still a, a young manager. He's still a young manager, Frank. He's still playing his You know, trade. if he's nervous or he shows nerves, that will reflect on the players. I don't think he's that type of manager. No, I but don't. if there is a different Karanga in the dressing room, it might it might run in some of the players if they think he's getting it wrong now and he's 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 appearing to be a bit on the nervous side, you know, getting a bit, bit twittery. They, it might rub off on them. Well, I think and, and again, I, I think, invincibility I, that's important. I think last week, Frank, when he came out and says Hello? when he came out last week and says, Look, I got it wrong, um, I think that was his way of saying, you know, take a bit of the pressure off the players or being beat. With Sheffield, I'll take a bit of pressure. I'll grab the headlines and take the rap and, and let them off with you know. And today he's kept the same team, which people have been yeah. crying out for. You know, when I've seen the team today, I thought good. It's the same team. That, that's a start. You know, this chopping and changing, I don't think it's good in the running. Uh, but now he's going to be forced. Obviously, Fredericks is going to be out. Does he stick with the same team that's lost? So there's a few things, you know. But when he when he starts sticking to the same team now, Bernie. People can say, well, why is he starting to do it now? He should have done it months ago. Why is he now doing it? Has he, has he run out of ideas? Has he, has he decided that, that you know, it's all a bit, a bit too much for him? He doesn't quite understand what he has to do. So I know I'll just listen to the supporters and stick to the same team. It, it? It, it, it's a, you know, a bit of a carry-on, really, when you think about it. I mean, he's, it, 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 he's going to be damned if he does, and he, he's damned if he doesn't. Well, that's part of being a manager. Well, that's being a manager. That's it, you're That's right. It. Yeah, yeah. So, Frank, anything else? I mean, it, 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 any, like, so, so, such as me coming on and having a go, I mean, the way you shut me up is you just win your matches and you win them convincingly. Then what, what can I say? What can anybody say? Well, look, You've got to go along with it and say, well done. But when, when things are not going well, it's easy then to pick up on that and start having a go at them. And I don't think this is the right time now. I think the supporters have got to get behind them at the ground. I think that everybody's got to get behind the team mm -hmm. and, and take it from there and just yeah. see what happens at the end of the season. Because it's getting to that deadly part now. Slip-ups are costly. OK, Frank. Thanks for your contribution as always. Cheers, Frank. Thank Bye you. Bernie. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Thank man. you. So there you Bye. are. Frank surprised a few people. He's not criticising tonight. He's saying it knows not the time. And he, he wants to get behind the side. Very good. Uh, thanks to Healthy Living Pharmacies and obviously CVFM. Healthy Living Pharmacies back the show, support the show, sponsor the show. And obviously CVFM, this is a studio. And without both of them, I wouldn't be on there. Um, so thanks for that. If you want to join us, 01642 688104. CVFM. Bernie Does the Borough, proudly sponsored by Teesside's Healthy Living Pharmacies. There's always a pharmacy open near you seven days a week. Ask your local pharmacists for free and confidential advice on smoking, alcohol, weight and sexual health issues. You don't even need an appointment. Visit TeessidePharmacy.net to find out more. Get your opinions on the air and have your say on the Borough game. Bernie Does the Borough on CVFM. If you want to get involved, 01642 discuss today's game against Nottingham Forest. Unfortunately, Middlesbrough lost two goals to one. Uh, let's go to Jono. Good evening, Jono. Evening, Bernie. Come on, I'm saying good evening. Is it a good evening? Disappointing evening? 
Oh, I'm not well. I am disappointed, Bernie, but I, I told you, I saw it coming. I mean, Forrest are in a good run of form. And yeah, they are. I wasn't surprised that we didn't pick up anything today. Um, but it, the main the main point is how we're going to react in the coming games, because mm -hmm. like you said, this is going to define our season. Yeah. Do you, do, you, do you agree with that, Jono, that obviously the next three big games um, will define as to where we're going? Oh, without doubt, Bernie. I mean, mm. this was the first of four games that obviously define our season. And yeah. I, mean, I don't want to be all doom and gloom. No, but no. I'm going to take up Frank's role tonight and uh, be Mr. Negative. But I, I just, I've said to you for the last few weeks, playoffs, I think it's obvious now that we're not good enough for top two. I'm sorry, but I can't see where the points are coming. So, so when you say we're not good enough for top two, John, uh, and what Bernie, the, these next three games, Bernie, if you if you offered me three points now, I'd take them. Right. If if you seem you are not good enough for top two, what we're we not good enough at is it is it in the last third of the opposing end? Is it putting the ball in the the opposing net? Is a problem? Is that your concern? Yeah, yeah. I think you've you've hit the nail on the head, Bernie. Just putting the ball in the back of the net. I think it's been evident in the last few games. I mean, I'm looking. Yeah, Again, at today's game, and 26 shots, four on target. I mean, that says it all for me. That speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've dominated and dominated, and we just can't do the simple thing. Um, and then even looking at other teams in the championship today, I mean, I mean, we've touched on it before, but Derby had two strikers out injured today. They've scored two goals. Yeah. I mean, Norwich, his main striker, he was injured. They right. put four. We had all four of our strikers on the pitch, and we couldn't score. I think that says it all. Yeah, I mean, um, t today, John, I don't know if you've seen any of the game or whatever, or listened or read about it, but we um, we were quite good in the eye, we kept the ball, but they sort of just went into two banks of four or five and says, go on Middlesbrough, have the ball, let's come at us and let's see what you can do, see if you can break us down. And we've did that opposing teams over the season and did it very well, but when the onus was on us to break them down, we, we couldn't do it. You know, we the second half, I can't remember one shot the Keita had to save. And that's how it summed it up, you know. You don't win games with possession. You know, you win games with putting the ball in the pose and that. Uh, we've seen that with Leeds. We'd all the ball, all the possession. Great in the eye. Everybody gives a plaudit for the way we played. But we lost the game. They had a couple of shots and won one nil. And today, they, they had limited exactly. chances. Exactly. But the two efforts they scored were, were smashing goals. You know, the first one, we backed off. He got it at his feet, rifled it. The next one, he, the black stock, he got it. He turned, rifled it again and... They sort of had a night of putting it in the net, whereas we we continue to sort of a huff and puff in the last third. Well, that's a frustrating thing, Bernie, like you said, we will look good on the eye, and I've heard that for weeks, yet we cannot do the basics in putting the ball in the back of the net. Mm. And I mean, I'm reading now about um, the Forest manager, Friedman, yeah. he's saying hey, we're the best team he's played this season. But I'm sorry, you won the game, so... How can we be the best team well, you've played this season? Is, is, is Lots it, of people have said it, but for me, the table yeah. says it all. Yeah. That's like saying, if you're the best team, you'll finish top of the pile. If you're the best striker, you'll have the most goals in the league. That's the best. You know, in 10 games time, exactly. they will know who's the best team, who's the best striker, who's the best defensively. All those stats will come out when the season's over. You can talk all day to your blue exactly, in the face. Bernie, I, yeah. I heard you say earlier that obviously you think we can handle the pressure, but hand on heart, I, I don't think we can, burn. I mean, I, I've looked at obviously the last, last couple of months and... Mm. I think I'm, I'm. I think I'm right in saying that every time we've been top, we failed to win the next game. We went. We went to Blackpool. We won. We were top. We went to Birmingham. Dropped points there. Right. We we won. We beat Bolton. Went to Sheffield Wednesday. Being top, we got beat there. And then again this week, <coughs> we beat Millwall. Turned them over. Went to Forest and mm -hmm. got beat. For me, right. Burn, we can't handle the pressure. That's the problem. Well, well what I'm saying is, John, I'm hoping we can handle the pressure. But the pressure's in all the teams. Every team's get the pressure. You, you, can't, you can't deny it or hide for it. You need to deal with that pressure as a team. And, and some guys will deal with it better than others. You know, some of the younger guys may fall with the wayside and, 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 and they'll be flipping. Some of the, 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 the stronger mentally guys, you need to be physically and mentally strong for the, the battles ahead and believe in your heart of hearts that you're going to achieve it and you're going to get into the, the promised land, the Premier League. But as I say... Every player's got different makeup. Some will be for it. Let's hope the majority is. But it only takes one, two, three to be off the boil, uh, and then that can bring the team down. That's all it takes. So, in order to handle the pressure, if you were Karanka, what what's the best thing to do? As in the team, would you would you stick with your best team and just play them from now on? Or I I I, I mean, it's how, how would you 
it's easy me saying it on there because I'm not a manager. Um, if I was in that position, I would pick my best eleven and, and say to them, "You're going to, st I'm going to stick with his remaining ten games, bar an injury. You're going to play every game. Tell the squad that as well. You know, I'll chop and change the bench. Blinking thing for again. You chop and change the bench, uh, but I'm going to stick with the same eleven. Do the business." Uh, Bamford, you try and get your twenty goal target that you're, you're aiming for, um, and and you know give them all a boost of confidence that this is it. We're going to live and die with this major decision. You're the starting eleven, remaining ten games. I'll chop and change the the, the bench. I'll rotate that for for game to game. But uh, go out and do the business and, and get his get his back into the Premiership. And I think that's a better way to go than players not knowing whether they're coming or going. Or do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, well, the thing for Saturday, but if, I think if he has any, well, real guts and judging recent performances, I mean, next Saturday, I'd, I'd drop Kike uh, okay. and you I'd bring in Reach and just go the four four two. Yeah, but I, I would I would definitely go with Reach. I mean, I would like you say to Bamford, Bamford, you're a centre forward. You know, I think managers, when Tony Mowbray played square pegs round holes, a centre forward on the wing or a winger up front or in midfield, he was criticised. When you're doing well, everybody bypasses that. But when things are only going well, that's when whole start to appear and you start to say, well, hold on, why is he playing there? He's a centre forward. Why is Adam reaching the bench? He's a left winger. Why is Adam on the left? He's a right winger. You know, and I think we should be playing players in the rightful position and, and getting that stability in there for the crucial 10 games. Maybe that's Karanka's plan all yeah, along. Bamford's wasted, isn't he, on the wing? Uh, I think if I think if you were to ask Bamford if he was an honest lad, and if you were to ask him, do you want to play up front or centre forward, we'd say up front every time. I don't think it'd be one time he'd say on the wing. I think he'd say, I want to play up front mm. every time. As I say, I've been in that position, Jono. Davenport signed for Man United, Slavin get put to the outside left. I was peeved off. I went in the cream puff many a game. You know, a happy player's a better player, and if Bamford's going to be better than he is, and he's a good player and he's done well, up front will be his position and he'll chase those 20 goals and have more chance of achieving it and getting us promotion playing up there than he will on that flank that's mm. only my opinion but as yeah, I say I'm yeah. looking at the mentality of Bamford as a centre forward that's what he claims to be that's what he is he loves scoring goals out in the wing he'll do a job because he's a professional but in the cold light of day I'm sure he wants to play up the middle and I think that would be better for the team as well. And I would get to say to Adoma and, and Reach, you're my two wingers, do your tracking back, but when you get the ball in the last third, make sure they're good crosses into the box, let you get as many goals as we can. Yeah, because I think certainly, obviously, the upcoming games, I think get pace in the side, like your Adomas, your Reaches, mm -hmm. um, get it in, because obviously that's what will read defences, and yeah. hopefully that's what will get us goals. But, I mean, what are you expecting, Bernie, next three games? Ipswich, Derby and Bournemouth. Well, well today, hand in heart, uh, going into today's game I was concerned I don't think we've hit the heights we have early season you know the form seems to have dipped a bit I was at the, the Millwall game Millwall to the credit passed the ball but I thought they were a poor outfit uh, they get done again today didn't they and I expected a few goals I actually says 3-0 to a camera that, that's run with one of the lads at the club what did the score be I said I think it'll be 3-0 uh, so I got that right today my gut instinct was that I did feel the worst today because our record's deplorable down there. Even when I played, we used to go there and get beat. There is such things as happy hunting ground. So, you know, today, no surprise getting beat. Saturday, I expect us to beat Ipswich. I mean, Ipswich drew today. Was it Brentford they played today? Um, they drew. Uh, they're just outside the playoffs in seventh and uh, 61 points. So, but, hey, I know Mick McCarthy. He's the ultimate professional. And, and he'll have them wound up. And it's an early kick-off. Uh, no doubt will be on the telly so that, that there's even more pressure we've been televised so um, I would say a home victory next week and then again you know we're going to go to the Derby and Bournemouth and, and beat Bournemouth I mean last night it was 2-0 when I jumped in the car John one of the kids I was coaching this morning went what about Bournemouth five five goals you know they can yeah. they can dig them out and, and bang in the goals Um Really tough well, game. Thing, how many times have we, we hit? Well, we've only obviously put five past Millwall, but I can't even remember us hitting four at any point in the season. We just need to be a bit more ruthless, and 
but in the next three games aren't a good opportunity to do that but but I mean we'll see but I mean just what you said there Bernie you'd like obviously you expected us like um, not to do well today no, I thought we'd struggle with you I did think we'd struggle for a lot of reasons I know but how can we predict that surely if this was a, a new Middlesbrough if you want to call it and we were going to do well we would have been proved wrong today but me and you were right we both ex- I expected us to get beat today just because it's Middlesbrough and like you said we'll probably go and beat Ipswich next week so well, I, 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 I looked at it for the outside I'm not a betting man so I can say my thing but before the game I'm thinking right Nottingham Forest Four wins out of five under Dougie Friedman. So they, he's turned the fortunes around and, and boosted everybody's confidence. Uh, our away form is starting to slip, which it has in recent away games. In the last third, we're fine hard to score goals. Yeah, against Millwall, I was there. First goal was a terrific goal, and we scored another two. But in previous games, not being at our best, misfiring, missing chances. So that's the things that I had against us today. You know, they're on a, they're on a bit of a roll. We're sort of a... I know we're up the top, but the form... I say weeks ago in the evening, Gazette, the, the, the local rag here in Middlesbrough, uh, in my column, that we need to step up. Some people are saying, come on, we're top of the league. Yeah, but you still need to keep your, you need to keep up there in performance level. You need to keep turning it on. You need to keep dealing with it and coping with it and converting chances when they come your way. Um, I still think we're good enough, but really, next week's a must-win game. It's a must-win game with Dad being Bournemouth falling. You know, we're the early kick-off, John. We can be sitting next week, early doors after the game, saying, top of the league again. There's all the pressure on today, lads. We have did a bit for the day. And I think it's going like that on a, a weekly basis. And uh, it's going to be yeah. nail-biting stuff, John. Final word to you, John. Yeah. Well, obviously, next three games, at minimum, we've got to win one of them, basically. I think if, if we don't win any of them, it's simple as... Good night, you know. Uh, oh, if we don't want any of them, John, I'd probably uh, agree with you. We'll be lucky to make the playoffs if we don't win the next three. <laughs> I know, I know. So let's just obviously go next week, see how it was. Because, I mean, the last time we were on the telly at lunchtime, but, uh, well, it was the lead, wasn't it? But we played Derby before that and we turned them over. So fingers crossed it's uh, deja vu on Saturday and we can do it again. Okay, John, thank you very much for your call. Cheers, John. Cheers. Uh, if you want to get involved, 01642 CVFM. Bernie Does the Borough, proudly sponsored by Teesside's Healthy Living Pharmacies. There's always a pharmacy open near you seven days a week. Ask your local pharmacist for free and confidential advice on smoking, alcohol, weight and sexual health issues. You don't even need an appointment. Visit TeessidePharmacy.net to find out more. Get your opinions on the air and have your say on the Borough game. Bernie Does the Borough on CVFM. And if you want to get involved, your views on six four two six double eight one zero four. Run out of time, probably get one more caller on, and then we're back next Saturday to do it all again. Hopefully, cheering on an Ipswich uh, well, defeat an Ipswich. Uh, 01 604 Let's go to Colin. Hiya, Colin. Colin. Doing, Colin, I've missed your dulcet tones, what? man. I thought you disappeared to Mars. Where oh. have you been? I've been there, um, I didn't care much for the players, mind. Barely want to send a forward. Yeah, so Colin, you, were you at the game today? Yeah, I'm on the way back now. Oh. Okay, what, what game did you see then today? What game did you see? I said a lot, a lot of possession and doing nothing with it. Right, flattened to deceive. I mean, so, uh, I mean, do you, have, have you got the stats there, Benny? How much possession did uh, we have? I, I think it was in that s- second half. Yeah, I think it was sixty odd percent possession. But you don't win games with possession, oh, Colin. Well, you don't win. You do. Oh, I know that. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing, you, Benny. It's all right having possession, but we pussy clapping about with that ball side to side. You don't score out there, neither, Bernie. You, bought, you score goals putting the ball in the net. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Colin Forrest seemed to in the second half say, they sort of uh, went deeper and, and sort of says, go on, Middlesbrough, you have the ball, see if you can break his down. Come and break his down. And we couldn't do it. You know, we passed the ball, Bernie. but we didn't hurt them. Go on. I mean, that's that one great away on the score the goal, Bernie. And we, we, we've got all that possession and... We're not doing nothing, we're not I'm ju- Colin, I'm just looking... I mean, Colin, uh, 
Sorry for cutting across your call. I'm just looking at the possession for the for the game in general. Middlesbrough had 67% possession. As an away side, that is an incredible... 67%. Yeah, well, for possession doesn't win games, does it? No, it doesn't. No, hey, we know that. Look at us against Leeds. We had all the possession, all the chances we could beat 1-0. No, and uh, that's what I'm saying, Bernie, you know, it's all right, Sam, these, these four keepers playing good. Mm -hmm. well, what about our centre forwards that put the ball past these good, good, good keepers that was having good games? Are you, are you a bit we, we, we badly need, we badly need, Bernie, a goal poor chair. Yeah. We're lacking somebody right, right in the box, like, such as yourself in your dear Bernie, a sniffer, but... Out There's a man sitting next who wants to know, can you come out of retirement? <laughs> yeah, I can hire you out of bed in the morning, tell him. <laughs> um, yeah, I... I, I, I trying to get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, agree, I agree with you, Colin. Look, I think the centre forwards have got a good footballers and good footballing brains, but are they prolific? No, because the stats say they're not. Have they been given opportunities... Every opportunity become prolific. Probably not because of the rotational system. Bamford's playing at position and the confidence hasn't really grown. You know, if you score a goal, you're maybe up the next week and then you're in the next. And I don't think that's good for your, your mentality as a striker. I can only talk from my own point of view. But there's loads of reasons. Can I ask you a question? Of course you can. Can I ask you a question, Ben? Yeah, go on. Who would you play to the model? Would you play Bamford or would you play Peaky? I would play, not even open to debate, out the four straighters or three straighters we've got. I'd play Bamford up front, up the middle. You're in the remaining ten Thank games. Thank you very much, because Yeah, no offs of bucks. He just does not cut the pay at mine, I'm telling you now. He mm. is not down at mine. Well, what, why do you he, think... He's had enough chances to get it. He's had enough chances to get him out to score a hat -rick. Yeah, well, why do you think he sticks by Kiki um, Colin? Sorry, Ben. Why, why do you think he, he sort of overlooks like Bamford? He moves Bamford out wide, kick you up the front. Why does he not see? Well, Come on, Bamford. I, 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 that would be my first question. I would love to ask the man. Yeah, why I would like to ask around. Instead of Bamford. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. Is it in his contract? He has to play a lot. I don't know. But the man, the man is. You know, we've got we've got ten games left, and we've got ten cup finals now, Bernie. So how, how's your how's your nerves standing up, Colin? Ten games to go, are you still confident they're within? Not, they're, they're not mad. I'm going home and I'm in the spare room, man. It's not good. <laughs> are you been up to no good again, you, Colin? Oh, well, that's oh, well, that's as good as in the spare room. She cannot handle it. Ah, ah, ah the nurse is no good. Bernie, will you talk to Jimmy over there? Yeah, what's his name? Jimmy? Get him on. Jimmy, hi. Hello, man. Okay, Colin, good to hear from you. Ben. Cheers, Cole. Hello, Freddy. Hiya, Jimmy. Come on then, Jimmy. What game did you see this afternoon? Uh, well, just couldn't take our chances there any could we? Yeah, I mean... Oh, Joe, we front then. Yeah, well, I was just saying to Colin, I mean, the remaining ten games... I would, I would, if it was left to me, yeah. I would say, Bamford, you're up top, you're up the middle, you're going to play the remaining 10 yeah. games. Yeah, I would, yeah. No ifs or buts. Yeah. You know, play Tomlin behind. No, I think you should play Bamford. Yeah. Yeah. Get, get, um, yeah. get a dome on the right, yeah. reach on the left. Yeah, no, yeah. Did, did, can you see him giving me a carry all the staff? Uh, Cario, I mean, he's back. He's back getting fit, isn't he? Uh, why not? That could be the element of surprise. Some of the, the, yeah, the no, yeah. some of the opposing teams won't know much about Cario. has been out for nearly a season. You know, he could he yeah. could get in there and change your fortunes. He could score an odd goal as well and create. So he yeah. could be a bit of a surprise package. But up front, I would play definitely Bamford. He would be my number one striker. Get into oh, the, would the be bit definitely. Game, you know. So, uh, I mean, I was I, I was reading the possession there with something like 60, 67, was it, percent, yeah. 63, percent yeah. possession, 67 percent possession away from home. That's an incredible stat, that. I know it is. Well, listen, 
Thanks, thanks for joining us. We're, we're cutting short now because we're finishing. Safe journey back. Good yeah. luck to you and the lads on the bus. Uh, cheers, thanks very much. Uh, I'll be back next week. I'm going to get a new earpiece as well. Uh, I'll be back next week here on CBFM uh, 104.5. Uh, after the Ipswich game, I think it'll be between 4 and 5. I'll obviously tweet it, put the social network, because it's an early kickoff. Thanks for joining us. Bernie does the borough. This show has been an independent production on CVFM.